few weeks ago, Meek Mill was released from prison. Um, he was rearrested due to a violation of his probation. How do you feel about his current situation? Okay. Hmm. That, that's a good one. All right. So, pretty much right now, Meek, he getting a lot of publicity for it. Like, he turned himself kind of into a martyr in that sense. He wanted to be, like, the guy who got thrown under the bus and then everybody went and sang. But I respect it. I, I can't even, like, I can't front on him. Like, he turned a bad situation into something amazing. If that makes sense, like he represents for people that can't speak for themselves. Exactly, it's like Nelson Mandela, man. Like as much as I, I hate when people compare me to Nelson Mandela, but it is very similar situations. Being in like America, where being black is harder than being white, it, it's it's true. Like as much as I hate, and I'm part white, so I'm I'm too black for the white people, too white for the black people. So it's like when you be chilling with them. You know, you know what I mean. You know when you're chilling with somebody that uh, doesn't like you is what I would I would call it. Um, yeah. And it's just such a coincidence that during his case, that his arrest officer would go down uh. for fraud and lying. Like it, the situation is so crazy. I, you know what? With that, I feel like they just they not slick like. I don't know why they tried doing him like that. That wasn't cool. And he been on probation since I was like 12. Like, how long this man gonna be on probation for? Damn. Like, I swear, literally 12. I was, I first heard Meek Mill and I was on probation. And technically like he he's still not off the hook. So, you know, we still gotta wait and see what's going on with that situation still. I still don't get that shit. Fucking probation sound, 12 years old. Not good. It's a community of SoundCloud rappers right now who's becoming very successful. They're transitioning from SoundCloud to becoming like superstars all oh, yeah, over yeah. the world. Like, who are some producers that you network with from SoundCloud? All right, uh, I don't, I don't want to say this wrong, but Ranger Lecave, be from Germany, fire, super fire. Um, who else? Like Big Head, Big Head Fire. Um, he was listening to my Chapo shit, and it was literally because of SoundCloud. He would never hurt me if it wasn't for SoundCloud. A, a lot of people, like, I feel like SoundCloud blessed a whole generation because it created um, almost like a musical revolution. Like, before people was only rapping just to, like, like make money. Now people are doing it to have fun because you don't have to do it to make money. You can just do it to make, have fun. I did it all the time. I would drop tracks, be like, all right, not even care about the track, but I'd come back and I had 400 plays. And I'd be like, I didn't even want it to have 400 plays, but it got it, you know what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. SoundCloud, like, that shit is the generation of 2017. Like. The whole generation, like... Yeah, like, SoundCloud is, has been around, but right now, it's like, that's where the talent's coming from. Yeah, like, yeah, like, it was around the whole time, but, like, shit just... Shit just started popping off, like, Lil Skies and shit, and, um... Even Zilla, Zilla, Takashi 69 all them motherfuckers, they, they came up off of SoundCloud, now that I think of it. And, like, that's dope. And uh, and right now, uh, Chicago video director uh, Cole Bennett with Lyrical yeah. Illuminate, he's been really putting them, putting those SoundCloud artists out. I can't for, I can't forget the one guy name, but um, I love his music a lot. I wish I could think of his name right now. Oh my God! But man, that was more. That's like one of the best SoundCloud artists. Well, artists that came from SoundCloud that. I think oh yeah, ski mask is it ski mask the slump god? Was it the the um? Oh my god! Now I can't think of the. It, it, it might it might be. Yeah, my honey's blue, like a bruise. Oh my god! I I can't think of the name of that song. We gonna we gonna get back to it, but like, who are some artists that you like to work with right now? Who would I like to work with right now? Juicy J, he fire. Juicy J fire as fuck. 
Um, Wiz Khalifa, of course, because both of them, they coincide, you feel me? Like, I was listening to Juicy J and, like, Taylor Gang, but I was also listening to, like, 3-6 Mafia. Um, you know what? I want to work with Wu-Tang. I always wanted to work with Wu-Tang Clan. They fired, um, especially Method Man. Method Man is one of my favorite rappers, um, because he had that lisp, but, like, he, he used that to his advantage. Nobody sounded like Method Man ever. It was always Method Man. And then, um, last one. Because I'll say the last one. Um, Rico Nasty, man. She was killing that shit last night. She was fucking killing that shit. She fired, too. Uh, she got the one bull on her producer team. Uh, Bilbo Beats, I think. He fired. But I want to make a beat for her. She would, uh, she would snap. She'd be snapping. But yeah, that's, a, that's about it for favorites right now. To, like, to work with. Uh, now that I think of it. Lil Skies, man. Skies. Skies, skis, it don't matter. It spells skis. He fired. Like, that's literally... I don't know. I found his music by accident, man. I heard this song nowadays, and I was like... This guy's alright. And then I kept listening. I heard Lust. I was like... He this guy time. good. He yeah, this time. guy good. He, he, he definitely good. Um, And not only that, like, he, he not... He's not like everybody else, even though that's what a lot of people I've heard say. He don't. I've never heard him say the same shit everybody else does. I, I'll be real with you, but like, that's how it is with like if they came up off SoundCloud. Everybody always wants to say what the SoundCloud rapper does, but they don't do what the SoundCloud rapper does. So that's how that's how it be. Everybody get credit. You know what I mean? You got any shout outs you want to you want to um give out uh, to your homies? Shout out to David Prime, Sire Chase, fucking Young L, and my boy Jay. Oh, and Snush, all my niggas. That's EKBG. They're uh, in my producer group. Uh, shout out Zilla, you ugly bastard. Um, and then shout out, you know what? Shout out like everybody. Shout out all or nothing mostly, man. Squad, thank you for having me. Y'all don't understand. This was real, like super real. Y'all. I'm blessed that like have my first interview with y'all. Like that, this shit crazy. Like y'all don't even know. I'm like, I be feeling honored. Like, it's weird.